Today, we are here with the team from UNESCO to roll out the Uganda ICT competence framework. But then, how did this one come to Uganda? A needs assessment was carried out to analyze the practices of teacher education with the view of improving teachers' preparation and professional development through the use of ICT. And when a teacher understands policy awareness, I mean, is aware of the policy, the next level is to understand the policy, and the third level is to be innovative with the policy. If you come to ICT, for example, the teacher should know the basic tools of ICT, the computers and all that. If you go to knowledge deepening, he can, the teacher can be able to now use complex tools. And by the time you reach to knowledge creation, you go to more complex, which is known as pervasive tools. So that's what the framework proposes. So from the other framework, we see that <clears throat> it provides modules for the approaches, which I've informed you. It also has examples of the syllabi and the exam spe specifications. When you go on the net and you, you, know, you, you Google UNESCO ICT Competence Framework, it will, it will bring out the book and you will see all that which is in the framework. UNESCO acknowledges that the many aspects that ICT in education policies have to tackle, such as teachers' competences, learning materials, ICT equipment, student and teacher motivation, as well as linkages to other areas of policy and socio-economic development. The framework is aimed to help countries to develop comprehensive national teacher ICT competence policies and standards. And it is it should be seen as an important component of an overall education master plan. <coughs> the Uganda ICT competence framework. How did it start? Government through Ministry of Education has expanded the education system to provide equitable access and quality education for all. But Uganda is still challenged with the task of improving student learning as well as developing and managing, professionalizing the teaching force. There is still a shortage of qualified teachers in the country and there is need to invest in the system of strengthening support and motivate the teaching force for the quality teaching and learning. So with support from UNESCO, we initiated a strategy to explore the state of ICT supported programs in teacher training institutions. And that led to the birth of the CFIT project. Under the CFIT project, teacher trainers and teachers will be equipped with relevant competences of using pedagogical ICTs. All of you who are here are teacher trainers because you receive our student teachers in your sections. We have been receiving experts from ICBA, it is also a branch of UNESCO, it has experts and they have been closely working with the tutors, instructors and lecturers from these three institutions which were selected. So they initially developed a draft competency ICT framework for teachers, for localization, to fit in the local conditions, <coughs> specifics and requirements of the national and regional education system. Some of your colleagues were selected by your administrators. We have been having workshops with them and that's why how we came up with this. It is not a framework that has been imposed from wherever, but it was a team from Nakawa, from Shimoni, and from Chambogo that came up with this framework. So, having introduced you to the UNESCO ICT Competence Framework, you, you see that all the levels and approaches were also adopted. They are not adapted, but adopted. They said all these aspects also apply 
to Uganda. We need teachers to understand ICT in education. They work with the curriculum and assessment, pedagogy, ICT organization and teachers professional learning as well as the other level. However, the group defined further what they will work on in understanding ICT in education. To them, they came up with policy and classroom practice under understanding ICT. Curriculum and assessment, the subdomains include curriculum planning, learning environment, students' experience, assessment, communication and collaboration, and special needs education. Under pedagogy, they looked at planning, problem-based learning, project-based learning, communication and collaboration, and students' experience. ICT, productivity tools, authoring tools, internet, communication and collaboration, administration, and so forth. And even organization, those are the subdomains and teacher professional learning.